October has been filled of quiet weather for most of the United States, along with Hurricane Milton. But as we go into November, things are going to change entirely, where we are going to be dealing with several large storms in the Greater Plains and even across areas like the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and East Coast. And we also could see a sneaky hurricane even impact areas like the Greater Antilles, and that could actually go into the Gulf of Mexico as we go into early and mid-November. So let's begin with what's happening across the United States right now and how how things are going to be changing over the next couple of weeks and we'll begin first with what's happening in the Caribbean Sea for right now things are relatively quiet we haven't had any big you know blow-ups in terms of tropical storms or anything like that quite yet however we are watching convection that's going to be developing here across Central America over the next few days this is going to be lifting to the north and eventually we are expecting some sort of tropical depression or storm to form as we go later into the work week and after that it's very questionable where it'll be going but as we go into November, this is going to be something that we need to watch for very closely because the environment is still very favorable in the Atlantic Ocean, especially in the Caribbean Sea, for a tropical storm or hurricane to develop. But if this thing does develop, it could literally go anywhere from the Gulf of Mexico all the way back out towards the Greater Antilles and eventually out to sea. Could also go in the middle of that. And again, we'll talk more about the scenarios here in just a few minutes. Back over in the lower 48, we are not really looking at anything too crazy, at least today. But as we go into this week, we are expecting a large storm to impact the Greater Plains, and we'll be talking more about that here in just a few minutes as severe weather will be a possibility both Tuesday and Wednesday, and even on Thursday. And then after that, we're likely to see a very active weather pattern where several large storms will be moving across the lower 48, bringing the potential for more severe weather in November and also some snow. Now, when we talk about active weather patterns, we are talking about several large storms. And in this case, going into this week, we are going to see our first large storm of late October and into November. And this is what we're looking at. This is the jet stream. We're going to have a big dip out of Canada with a large scale trough that is actually going to move over the Rocky Mountains as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday. This is going to allow for a mixing of cold and warm air in parts of the central and southern plains. And we are expecting a couple of days of severe weather to occur across the central and southern plains and we're going to go more in detail about those threats in our next forecast but we are watching for the potential of very large hail damaging winds and even a few tornadoes both tuesday and wednesday across parts of the central plain so you'll see how that trough mingles across the rocky mountains tuesday it is going to be mostly a positively tilted trough but the winds and the wind shear are pretty favorable at least for some very large hail and also a low-end tornado risk across the central plains on wednesday as we go into thursday and friday that races through the midwest with mostly rain and this actually of weather pattern is going to continue there is very good news out of this because we are going to see a lot of rain out of this particular pattern you'll see as we go into saturday another trough digging out of canada that's also going to allow for moisture to build here across the four corner states and back through the southern and central plains leading to more precipitation as we go into saturday and sunday and eventually as we go into the following week of november another large-scale trough will attempt to really start to materialize across the great plains and something like this is more common to bring colder weather and also the potential for severe weather. So something to watch for as we go into the first full week of November. And eventually by the time we get closer to the middle of November, we don't really know exactly what's going to happen, but the GFS model still indicating several big dips in the jet stream impacting the United States. And all of these will be able to bring the potential for rain, some snow, also severe weather, and perhaps even colder weather. Now for the rest of this month, we aren't going to see anything too out of the ordinary. For the most part, it's just going to stay dry for most of the lower 48 but as we go into tuesday into wednesday which is right around halloween that is when we're going to have our first trough of probably many as we go into november impacting areas in the united states and this is tuesday night again in late october the 29th we are going to see some heavy snow falling across areas like wyoming utah and even back through parts of colorado on tuesday as we go into wednesday this trough is going to start to materialize more bringing an elongated area of moisture and rain from the southern plains all the way back through the Midwest. There is a low chance for severe weather tomorrow night. We are mostly focused though on Wednesday because this trough will become much more organized and there will be more moisture and also a more favored environment locally across parts of Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and even parts of North Texas for some severe weather, mostly damaging winds and very large hail, but a couple tornadoes will be possible on Wednesday. As we go into Thursday, this continues to shift east. Instability is going to be a big issue out of this particular trough, so we're not going to see a whole lot of severe weather on Thursday. Probably 
probably a pretty low threat across parts of the Dixie Alley and maybe the lower Ohio Valley. By the time we go into Friday into Saturday, that is when more moisture is just going to build right back up again across parts of the central and southern plains. And even back into parts of the Midwest, we'll see some rainfall. Another risk of severe weather will likely occur sometime on the late half of the weekend or even into early the following week as we have several troughs basically forming across the southern plains that will leave the potential for severe weather across parts of the southern plains and we could even see an outbreak and if one of those does happen we'll be live on the channel so make sure that you are subscribed down below and click the bell icon so you're notified with the latest updates as we go in the following week again notice how that trough moves to the northeast and that could even bring some snow to the upper midwest after that it just continues to look like a very active weather pattern especially in the southern plains where lots of rainfall is likely even into around november uh, 6th and 7th and then the gfs model also showing that possibility for a tropical storm or hurricane as we go into the first full week of november here's the good news out of everything i've just said we are going to see a lot of rain as we go into early november and that's good for a lot of people as long as there's not an excessive amount in a short time frame right now the gfs model all the way through november 6th is indicating a lot of rain especially from the midwest back through the southern plains let's go back though to through this weekend so by about saturday or sunday you'll notice most areas in the purple and even the blues that's where we could see one to three inches of rain between now and sunday this is where things do become a little bit more uncertain is that the gfs model does hint at a more significant rainfall event sometime the following week which is about eight to ten days from now we don't necessarily know what's going to happen there but if something does happen like the gfs model was just indicating we could see a potential for some flooding rainfall in areas like arkansas missouri oklahoma and even in texas but again that does remain quite uncertain but the good news is that rain is coming for those that need it even back over in the ohio valley even if it's only a tenth of an inch of rain or even an inch of rain it will definitely help out the problems with the drought now again we're going to talk more about this in our next forecast but i did want to point out that the tornado threat on wednesday and mainly wednesday evening does remain on the lower side of things it's not zero we are going to have some wind shear especially across parts of kansas and central and eastern oklahoma where there will be a potential for a couple maybe even a few tornadoes but i think hail and wind are going to be the main concerns again if there is a need to go live on wednesday we will be going live so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel down below now, unfortunately about half of the country is under some level of a drought you'll notice areas like the midwest and back through the great plains really in a pretty significant drought right now at least a moderate or severe drought there are a few areas in the red and dark red that are in an extreme drought or even in an exceptional drought even back over in the ohio valley like west virginia and ohio those areas not really expected to see much rain over the next 10 days but hopefully we get some soon because that area has been really not seeing any rain this year back over in parts of oklahoma even and back through texas there are also some other pockets there of severe droughts and even up closer to again exceptional droughts and though we're not going to see a whole lot of snow as we go into the beginning of november we are going to see a little bit mainly across parts of the northern plains at this point the forecast doesn't look impressive according to maybe a couple of inches in the uh, northern plains on wednesday and as well as tuesday night majority of it will fall across the rocky mountains and even beyond then we're not really expecting much for the at least the first week of november in terms of rainfall we are expecting a very high amount of rainfall especially across the lower 48 again anywhere from the four corner states back through the great plains expecting above average rainfall for the first week of november so very good news there the temperatures on the other hand are going to continue to stay at record breaking levels throughout the next few days with many areas from the midwest back into the northeast and through the southern plains dealing with record breaking high temperatures throughout the middle of this week even by around two or wednesday into thursday record high temperatures will be possible in the northeast by friday into saturday that's when things change a little bit around or just above average for most of the lower 48 the west coast and the rocky mountains will stay below average and then as we go into the following week we'll probably start to see some colder air but it's going to take a while i think for any major arctic blast to really impact the country we're just not at that stage right now even with several storms coming it looks like it's still going to be relatively above average for at least the first couple of weeks of november something that we don't usually talk about in november are the tropics hurricane season does end on november 30th but even then you know hurricanes and stuff like that don't usually happen that frequently in november but we do think that this right here could be our next tropical storm or even hurricane as we go into early november has about a medium chance of development right now so around a 40 to 50 percent chance there's a lot of places this could go it could go towards the gulf of mexico could go through cuba and maybe towards florida could go through the bahamas and also the greater antilles and then also maybe just goes out to sea more but still impacts somewhere in the caribbean sea areas like jamaica cuba haiti the dominican republic should be on alert with this if you're in like florida or anywhere along the gulf coast there's no reason to be concerned right now just something to keep an eye on over the next few days in case something does develop here 
The GEFS Ensemble members, which is basically just a group of computer models on one graphic, does indicate development starting around November 2nd, which would again be this upcoming weekend, eventually turning into some sort of tropical storm or even hurricane, and then impacting areas like Jamaica, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and Cuba sometime around the early portion of next week. And then after that, it could literally go anywhere. It could go more to the east, into the Atlantic Ocean, and become more of a fish storm, and it also could go more towards the Gulf of Mexico, which a lot of Ensemble members on this latest run indicate that this could make a run at the Gulf and maybe go towards Florida. Here's the thing, we don't know what's gonna happen since nothing's developed yet, so again, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We'll keep you posted with the latest if anything does develop here, and it does become some sort of concern to land, including perhaps the United States. This is one of the last days to pick up 500,000 subscriber merch at shopmaxvelocity.net, which is the top link in the description below. Still have our hat available, t-shirt, also our beanie, and as well as our mug and sticker. Again, all of those can be checked out with the top link in the description below.